evening. I presume I've done a re room review and all the rest of it. I've filmed loads of stuff today, considering I wasn't going to. So I'll just do the end of the night bit now. Um, I was walking up to, what's it called? Concert Square, because I thought Soul Train might have been on. Which plays all my kind of stuff. <laughs> just really weird. Just something going top of Church Street. Oh, David and his mate came around the corner. I was like, what? <laughs> What's that Casablanca bit, you know, in all the towns and all the cities? Anyway, whatever. So that meant we were going to go for a few beers. So we came back into town again. Uh, and I've ended up in some really nice bars tonight. It's the kind of bars I wouldn't normally you know, be seen in. And uh, it was great. I was just sitting there thinking, when you were this stupid little 21, 22 year old fucking stupid queen living in Liverpool and you thought you knew everything and you knew nothing. And now you're sitting in this lovely bar outside in the streets with all the tables and the lights and choice of wines and it, way to save and all that. It's just, it was great. I just felt that sort of in the moment thing. And the fact that I'm sitting around David, <laughs> it's like a bonus. How did that happen? We happened to be in town at the same time. Uh, so we had a really good little gab and a few bevies and all that. Um, then they had to go home because, you know, that's where they live. <laughs> I went up to try and find Soul Train, which is a night out with. Soul Train, as in the American thingy. I would play really good music and I walked around, I couldn't find it. I slowed the doorman. You know, what you do. And they were really nice and get found stuff on my phone and directed me. But unfortunately, it's not really open till Saturday because it's a bit of a quiet season for it. So I had to walk all the way back into town, walk along Charlotte Street, excuse me, here we go again. But that was all karaoke and live band. And because I had a few bevies with them, I was not in the mood for that. So, went into town. Uh, first bar, music was okay. But then she started talking over the disco songs again. And so here we go. And then she said, so I started to the bar and I thought, great. I go for it now. Walked into the next one. Same thing again. Music, talk, talk, talk. Oh, fuck. So then I went down to Master Street and went to Flares, which was empty. And it says on the thing the promotions, free entry, drink promotions. So I said, What promotions you got on? She said, None. So I had a pint of lager, which came in a plastic glass. It was £5.30 and it was warm. No. So I went to the DJ and said, can you play uh, Earth, Wind & Fire September and T. Murray Behind the Groove? And he went, yep, no problem. And he just banged them on. And I got up and I danced, because that's all I want to do. And then I came off. <laughs> oh, that was a lot. There was nobody in there. Absolutely not a single person. It's not my dancing that bad. It's just £5.35 to get in. I found it, sorry, found it a pint, and no, it was sad. But I had to dance song. Okay, uh, I'm gonna come back here to do this. So um, today, it's okay. I felt no. I mean, that day was just a bonus because we got to. And his mate, his dad could fucking kill his mate, he just, <laughs> Jesus Christ, fingers in pies, him, uh, so, oh, yeah, and, no, can't, because if you can do this thing for me, I'll be so fucking happy, <gasps> so happy, uh, so, anyway, 
I'm back here. And I'm actually quite late. It's since half past one, I think. It's usually it's about half past eleven. So, hang on. I forgot what I'm up to now. So the last club did to do this. I have to do it solo again. Anyway, the last club was in, and they've really good music, and they're proper light show and it was great and um, didn't have a dance even though I did ask him to play something for me but he didn't but I have to give him for that. I uh, back in the hotel and I'm in a happy thing again. So Liverpool tonight you were okay. You got away with it. Came out Belfast. But that last club did it for me. But the rest, nah. And the other funny thing is, <laughs> that was our day with his mate. So, we're sitting in these nice bars. So there were lots of nice young ladies, shall we say, going back and forward. And those two, <laughs> like, trying to talk, look at the same time. <laughs> like being at Wimbledon. So I said to think that I was going... <laughs> <laughs> it was good company, so I'm happy with that. And I am. So I'm easy now. And tomorrow's the funeral, and. Well, cut, slip, mark, just go into the straight thing. So it's our piece of funeral tomorrow, so that's going to be. I hate to say this, but it's going to be fun again. I loved our piece, it was just. Him, Timo. I'm going to do all these presents off, but we'll get back to that bloody pub and it'll be, do you remember that time list? Do you remember that? that, that, that. And then me and our John got the train journey home. <laughs> so, good night for Liverpool. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> God, I am really strong. Sorry.